Okay, the next set of problems, uh, you are need you need to rely a little bit more into shortcuts. Um, I'll still show you at least for number ten, like what the picture would look like. Okay, if you had a big pile of two hundred and fifty negatives. Okay, of course I'm not going to uh, draw them all. And you had a pile of two hundred and fifty positives. Well, just keep in mind the both piles would be exactly the same size. And for every negative and positive pair, okay, they attract, right? So all of the negative positive pairs will go away because both piles are exactly the same size. So you're going to be left with the charge of zero. Okay, now another way to think of it is just the shortcut. I have two numbers that have a different sign. So when I'm adding two numbers with a different sign, I subtract them and keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 250 minus 250, which of course is zero. And, I mean, zero is neither negative or positive, so you don't even have to worry about that next step. So negative 250 plus a positive 250 is zero. Okay, number 11. Think of this as a positive 200 and a negative 600. Remember, treat that negative, uh, treat that subtraction symbol as a negative sign. So if I had 200 positives and 600 negatives, the signs are different. Okay, when the signs are different, you subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So we have to take 600 minus 200 which is 400, and the bigger number is a negative, so my answer is a negative 400. Okay, number 12, we have negative 200 minus 600. Okay, that subtracted 600, think of it as a negative. So we really have 200 negatives and 600 negatives. Okay, they're the same sign. Okay, so when we have two numbers added that are the same sign, we add and keep the sign the same. Okay, so we're going to add 200 and 600 up, giving us 800, and they're both negative, so we keep the answer as a negative 800. Okay, 13 and 14. Okay, these two symbols represent the absolute value. Okay, and the absolute value is the distance from zero. So, okay, let's find negative five. Okay, we have the absolute value of negative five. There's negative five. Now I want to compare that to zero. So the absolute value of negative 5 is how far away from 0 is negative 5. Okay, how many spaces is that? It could be 5 spaces. Okay, number 14, the absolute value of positive 5. Okay, we're still doing the same thing. Distance from 0. Okay, so here's 5 using the same zero, okay, we want to know the distance that 5 is from 0, okay, it's also going to be 5 spaces from 0. So both of those answers are 5. Okay, 15, opposite. Opposite just means change the sign. So the opposite of, the opposite of 8 is a negative 8. The opposite of a negative 2 is a positive 2. You just change a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. Okay, you just change the sign. Okay, guys, let me know whatever you're having trouble with. I'll help you. Uh, just make sure you have this uh, Nearpod complete and submitted.